What up, YouTube? It's your boy Big Cool coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk, and I'm back with a quick recap of tonight's um, PBC fight card headlined by WBC heavyweight champion Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder defending his WBC title for the fifth time against Gerald Washington. Um, and before I discuss that fight, I will love to, I'm going to talk about the um, co-main event that took place for the vacant IBF 154-pound um, belt between Tony Harrison and Jared Hurd. Going into this fight, I made a you know I had a breakdown and pre prediction video that you can go surf through the channel, uh, through the channel and, and watch, where I just broke down things that I seen in both guys' styles um, that could cause um, you know the each each guy um, problems. And at the end of the video, I predicted that Tony Harrison would win, but you could tell that I wasn't so sure. But I just thought that he had learned a lot from the Willie Nelson fight. And I thought that, you know, coming off of um, his most recent um, impressive performance, I forget the guy's name, um, that he would be ready to take that next step. And coming out the gates, he was it was guns blazing. He was fighting behind that jab. He was using his reach. He was using his foot movement. He was throwing combinations. Um, he was doing everything that you would love to see a guy that, that 6'1 with a 67 and a half reach advantage do. You know, um, but as the fight progressed, he started re retreating back, re resorting back, excuse me, to Tony Harrison of the oh, of the past, p fighting with his hands down. You could say that he was gassing, he was getting tired. He started to lean in, which I said he couldn't do. Um, in my breakdown and prediction video of about this fight, he started leaning in. He squared himself up on the ropes. He let her get get himself back in the fight. By abandoning his game plan, uh, and you can kind of tell um, as the fight continued to progress in round seven, eight, nine, that it was slowly on his face. He was just he was he was weary. He was tired. He was ready for the fight to be over. He still showed moments of you know excellence, especially you know facing adversity. And I think the eight, seventh, and eighth round where he was clearly hurt, you know, but he didn't go down, and he you know he landed some shots. But, like I said, once he stopped using his foot movement, stopped throwing combinations, stopped jabbing, stopped fighting smart, it was downhill from there. And you got to give credit to Jared Hurd, who continued to plug away. He pretty much used the Willie Nelson um, game plan, take some punishment, lose you know, lose a few rounds, um, let Tony exert a lot of energy with his movement, and um, eventually... You know, landing those body shots, landing those uppercuts once, you know, Harrison start to, you know, mentally, you know, wear out and kind of break down. And that's exactly what um Hurd did. And he caught him in the ninth round with a beautiful overhand right that put her um Harrison on his ass clean. To Harrison's credit, he did get up. He he beat the count. Um the referee's talking to him and he spit his mouthpiece out. I don't know, um, you know, if that was a symbol. If that was symbolizing that he he was quitting or he was just trying to buy some extra time, for but the ref waved it off, and you know Tony took his second L tonight. It was a good fight. He I'm pretty sure he's devastated. He didn't expect it to go out go this way, especially you know him coming out the way he did. You know up for um, at least one of four first four rounds in, in my um opinion. But props to Jerry Hurd for overcoming adversity, um, sticking with the game plan, believing in himself, and you know stopping him with a beautiful right hand. And now he's the IBF, uh, the new IBF junior middleweight champion. And you know there's a lot of good fights that can be made um, for him. And and we have to see what happened with Harrison. But now on to the main event. You know Deontay Wilder is my guy. We both from Alabama. I didn't attend this fight tonight. Um, watched it live home with my um, fiance, but um, Wilder was rusty. You know, he uh, fought back in July against Chris Ariola, and he suffered a torn pectoral muscle. 
or a torn bicep, excuse me, and a broken hand. And you can kind of see that he was rusty and he was kind of worrisome and wasn't 100% uh, sure until later on in the fight, you know, about throwing that right hand without thinking about it. To Gerald Washington's credit, he's 6'6". Six, six. He's a former college uh, football player. He played at USC under Pete Carroll. So he's physically strong. He's very athletic. He was supremely um, well conditioned. He came out starting early, and he he came to win the fight, like he said. He um his jab was very um was very good. Uh, he would push Wilder back with it. It was a powerful um sturdy jab. Uh, then he started to open up and around the you know late second third round um started throwing some right hands pushing pushing Wilder back. But we all know Wilder's record now, you know, is 36 and 30, 36 and oh, with 35 knockouts. Now he, you know, he won um, via fifth round KO tonight. So that pushes it to uh, 37 wins with 36 knockouts. As flawed as Wilder is, and he is flawed, good fighter, but still, you know, very flawed. One thing that will always keep him in the fight um, and give him a chance to win is that power. Um, and he incorporated the left, um, the left hook. He had dropped, uh, he had dropped the right hand on on Washington in the fifth round, and he, he followed up with a left hook, not Washington down. Washington, to his credit, he got up. He wanted to continue. Then Wilder is one of the is probably one of the best finishers um, when it comes to you know getting your, your guy out out of there when he hurt. Even though he was wild, he was landing a lot of rights and lefts on him and. On Washington and Washington was hurt and kind of was stumbling around the ring, and the referee waved it off. Some people feel it was a bad stoppage. I say, you know, I rather you stop it a tad bit early than a tad bit too late, preventing um, you know, unreversible damage because Wilder can punch. Um, and we've seen him knock guys out cold, leave them shaking. Um, on the canvas. So, props to to Gerald Washington for doing what he had to do. Like I said, he came out there uh, with a good game plan that was working early, and he just got caught by a guy who can punch. And props to Wilder for finishing him. It wasn't his most impressive victory, uh, but you got to understand he was coming off of surgery, two surgeries, um, and, you know, it's going to be rushed there. And he was fighting a guy who was almost as tall as him, what, Wilder 6'7", Washington was 6'6". Six, six, so it's, it was an adjustment. Something that's going to bode well for him in the future. You know, because, you know, you got Fury if he comes back. Tyson Fury. You got Huey Fury who's facing Joseph Parker for the WBO title. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you still got Vladimir and AJ. Uh, I mean, AJ, but Anthony Joshua who's set to face each other. All those guys are tall except with the exception of Joseph Parker who's 6'4". So this was a good test for Wilder in his first fight back since injuring himself against a tall athletic guy who... who who is a skillful guy. So, like I said, he still has to improve. Maybe he's reached his ceiling. Who knows? But that power will always be there um, to have, you know, have his back when he needs it. So, tell me what you thought about tonight's card. Um, what do you think about Wilder's performance? Who would you like to see him fight next? I think he will be fighting Parker um, later this year, assuming that Parker gets by um, Huey Fury when they fight soon. Um, in his first W t defense of his WBO title, but tell me what you thought about Wilder's perform performance, as well as the uh, Jared Hurd versus Tony Harrison um, fight, and who would you like to see him fight next? Like this video, subscribe to Colossal Box and talk. Leave those comments in the comment section below. Head over to Twitter, follow us over there at Colossal CBT. Like our Facebook page, Colossal Box and Talk. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.